Hello, attack power here. Finding a Commonwealth division that I don't completely hate. Let's dive right in. Alrighty, folks. So I'm here on Slutsk up against my own Duke from Hobotengu's Kingdom, Melancholic Robot. Great guy. Uh, he is playing Task Force Butler on Vanguard. Hoo -hoo. And I'm trying out 8th Indian. Now, I've played this division plenty of times before, and I'm currently trying to find a Commonwealth division I don't absolutely loathe. Uh, so Commonwealth is in a bad spot right now. There's not a lot of Commonwealth divisions that really play well uh, or rank high in tier lists and things like that. Uh, the, the bottom of the rungs here, 15th Scott, 3rd Canadian. Um, these, these, the, you know, those two are, are probably the, the bottom of the bottom. Um, they don't, they just don't do very well. Um, they, they got so many issues. The biggest being just their infantry just really is not good. Uh, and, and that's the biggest problem with Commonwealth right now is that the, the crappy infantry, the problem is if they buff it in any way, all of a sudden Commonwealth divisions become disgustingly good. And, but if you don't buff them, they're going to stay in this really kind of awkward spot where they're just not very good. So it, it's a weird spot. And then you have Sixth Airborne, which is still, it's nothing like it used to be. It, it really does not rank super high. It's, it, it's infantry got nerfed several times, and it's just not a very efficient division anymore. Um, that just doesn't do it. It's got typhoons and stuff, but that's about it. Um, and then you have second new zealand now this is the other one that's really in contention for a really playable commonwealth division uh I, second second new zealand got some great infantry in their oplites and their oplites and, and the other kinds of you know special infantry they have um but they still can they still struggle you know they can still their, their infantry isn't incredibly efficient it's solid but it's not incredibly efficient this Indian infantry, on the other hand, can be, especially with the Gurkha rifles. These guys are absolutely phenomenal. But even the Indian rifles are solid. For 20 points, they're a very good 20-point infantry. Uh, they're 12 men. You know, they're nice and chunky. And they have a Thompson, which is a nice upgrade for a submachine gun. You know, you still got plenty of double machine gun units in the rifles. PI, you get two cards of those. You get the Gurkha rifles, um, you know, and then you get these nice, like, zippy cards of 15-point CQC infantry that can just, like, toss grenades and throw flames and die. Um, so, you know, there's some good tools here for sure. And then you get your good old 17 pounders that can really cover you for super long range. You get these Indian scouts, which are really good scout units with four men. Um, you get a really solid air force with lots of Boston's and some hurricane AT, which actually tend to really overperform. And you get these really, really good 114 millimeter artillery guns, which are really, really strong. They have a nice rate of fire and they do a good bit of damage. They're very accurate. So yeah. And then you get your usual 90 millimeter bow for a thing. The big issue for this division for me is this support tab is horrendous. Uh, you just, you just have machine guns and two inch mortars or whatever they are, 15 inch more. It's terrible. You have no 2k at all. You don't even have 1250 range support so it's really rough supporting your troops he wise you kind of are forced to deal use shermans and shermans while are fantastic infantry support at close range at long range their gun is anemic at killing infantry just like all tank guns are kind of eh, at killing infantry so we're gonna see how this goes here ready when you are the plan here Push strong up on the hill, push him out of some key positions. I have a Sherman coming up here early, um, along with a sniper here, and a, a bunch of assault engineers and things, uh, Indian rifles going into the middle here. So I'm making a solid push over here. Uh, just a Vickers and a Flamer guy here to see if I can cheeky grab this flag. And then I have two Maxims just to keep, hopefully keep him from like total spamming me here. I have a 17 pounder to cover the open, another Maxim here and another Flamer for another hopefully cheeky little grab there. So we'll see how this goes. Um, yeah, 30 seconds. No big deal. No biggie, robot. I wouldn't mind finding points to get one of these auto cars. The issue is if I take one of these machine guns away, yeah, that makes me a little nervous. I'm not going to lie. No, I want the scouts. Crap. No, uh, then again, no. No, let's not take the scouts. If I, if I, if I bring this dude, I don't really need the scouts. So let's go with that. Sure. Bring in more scouts later. Yeah, this is going to be rough long range. I'm pretty sure Butler. Actually, let's look at the division overview, courtesy of my Patreon, if you'd like to check that out. Uh, do these guys, Task Force Butler, have the 105 howitzers in the support tab? No, but they do have M8 Scots and they have the M4, like Sherman 105. So I'm going to really struggle with the HE range stuff. He's going to really be able to pick me apart. All right, let's do it. 
Off we go. It's a long way to Tipperary. Get my get my British on. You know they're gonna say that. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Say it. Yes, sir. I don't want yes, sir. I want it's a long way to Tipperary. All righty. The other issue, too, with this division is the transports. You're forced into 60 kilometer an hour of transports, and that sucks. Anytime you're stuck in 60 kilometer an hour transport, it's it's so painful. Now, this division makes up for it a little bit by having Jeeps to give you some form of speed to work with. But, my God, you can just see how friggin' slow it is. It's just like, oh, <laughs> come on. Uh-oh. He's done it. He's thrown down an AT gun. Uh, what kind of AT gun is this? It's a 57 mil, which is basically a six pounder. Uh, are we coming into range? We are. Uh, I pressed the wrong button. Unload. So unfortunately, oh no, not the leader, not the leader, not the leader. Eee! Okay, we're good. All right, up you go, up you go. Let's start. Let's start to moving. Oh, I thought he was going for that. Took out a jeep instead. Interesting. All right, did call a 60 and uh, whatever this thing is called. Let's go after him. Eee! Oh, kept it alive. What's going on over here? Nothing great. Fall back. Fall back. Yeah, see, I'm already getting just absolutely decimated by long range units. He brought a AA and two. That sucks. And I lost my machine gun already. That's terrible. I do have this. This isn't bad. So I got my little cheek grab here. I'm going to zip this guy forward, see if I can take these out. Oh, really? Lost the Spitfire? Wow, that's really bad. That's like horrendously bad. Oh my god, these freaking things. Uh, Okay, Sherman's coming. Let's just keep going here. I need help over here badly. Let's bring in some more rifles, Piat, another Indian rifle up here. <sighs> I don't really want you shooting. That's my fault for not putting him on return fire. Return fire, buddy. Oh, crap. Please kill him? No, gonna miss completely. All right, that's fine. Whatever you do, you. Yay. Oh, no, 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 no. Do we have any chance of getting him out of range? Yeah. Missed. Oh, yes. he actually missed. Oh. Okay, now let's zip him over here. This way. All right. No, 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 no. Okay. Uh oh. Oh, God, Sherman, no. This is not what you're here for. Ah! Ninety mil, come on! Oh, he missed. Or whatever it is, forty mil. Oh, you're literal. Push forward. He's gonna try to flank me over here. Oh, what kind of line of sight is that? Shoot! 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 Go this way. All right. This is really starting to annoy me. Did lose that. That sucks. Rifles Piot destroyed. This infantry don't really have AT here early. So we can try to take advantage of that. Did he get off? I don't think he did. I think he got one off, maybe. <sighs> he missed. Oh! Nice. Alright, I think we're winning on this hill. Let's go after him. More assault engineers did.
These are just engineers. I don't need to fight them. Don't get sucked into fights you can't win. Still getting those freaking bombs off. All right, he should have lost sight of me by now. He did. Okay, I was about to say. All right, apparently I need more anti-air up here. Or somewhere around here. Yeah, let's just go double. All right. All right, Piot, this is your moment. Don't mess it up. Quick. Oh, come on. Let's get another Sherman. It's performing quite well. Oh my god. The 200 meter range on this thing is so freaking obnoxious. I've said it many a times. The real issue for me with the Piat is the 200 meter range. I mean, the, the awful accuracy sucks too, but like, it's it's that freaking like six inch in range. It's terrible. What? Bro, come on. Just spamming M8 Scots at me in light armor. Let that get too close. Push this way. Oh, that is so bad. Stop. Do you have any AT on these guys? No. Piats do. Please kill it. Yes. Oh, we bounced it. Oh, kill it. Yes. Woo. I won't complain for the rest of this game about being lucky. <laughs> All right, let's get a sniper in here. Now the issue is still his infantry are still much stronger than mine. We can't get around that factoid. What is that? Oh, well, that was kind of stupid. He's on, I think he's having depression issues. And not the, not the bad kind. Well, the bad kind in this game, but not in real life. Nice! That's a big kill. He lost that for nothing. Like I had, I had to lose nothing to do that. And now I can force him off the hill with this. All right. Now this is really annoying. I think he got some infantry in here. I think that's the issue. I have another Sherman coming in, right? Yeah, I do. Let's go, let's go. Ah. That's right, I got more of them. I have eight in phase B, so there's <laughs> no reason to be... No reason to be stingy with them. Did it die? No, it didn't. I didn't think so. Let's get a leader, commander in here. Okay, there we go. Getting him off this hill is pretty massive. Oh, come on, he's behind a freaking building. Tank ready. 
Yeah. Good thing I happen to have another. Here comes the real infantry. No! Ah! Oh. No! Miss! Oh my god, I just got creamed. Oh man, that was so bad. Please, AA. God, it gets it off every time. Son of a gun. Alright, so we're in here now. Solve this problem for the time being. Let's get up here. Ugh. Now, I dude, we just remember he's on Vanguard. <laughs> so, oh, and I shot something down. I hope that was the, I think that was the freaking whatever you call it. Fighter that is good. Uh, let's get a six pounder. We're, we're going to plop it right here on this hill. We're going to get another Sherman because they, this is the, this is their best place right here. All right. I should have, I should have troops pouring in now. Get the Piot. Problem with the Gurkha rifles is they have a Gammon bomb instead of a Piot, and while the Piot is short range, the Gammon bomb's even worse. Let's go kill that. My Shermans are apparently better than yours. They are. Nice. I'm so upset I was not able to kill those freaking things. Let's go this way. And let's get some of these in. Uh, and then another scout. Oh, oops. Fly this way, fly this way. You are quite fast. I should survive, I think, with my triple star 40 mils. Yeah, they're pretty deadly. Let's move him, and let's move him. All right, we already damaged it. That's nice. Gurkha rifle, show me what you're made of. This is what I bragged about for this division. Let's go. Let's freaking go. Woo! No! What? Oh, there was some sort of bazooka unit. Ah! Curses. All right, I think it's time to get some big artillery. No, he's going to, like, 60 mil mortar my freaking amazing Gurkha rifles. No! Freaking 50 cal. So annoying. Alright. Let's get one with ammo, because I can. Let's get another scout. There we go. Yes, my infantry went from meh to absolutely insane in a matter of seconds. Throw, throw some TNT. That is what you're here for. Throw TNT and die. Now run. Oh, he was already kind of pinned. Yes. No, what? What are you doing? Even with the stress, I'm hoping he should be fine. Yes, there's a pin. Oh, there's another. I didn't even notice my Sherman had the line. Woo! Now I need a backup because I know now I know there's a bazooka dude here. Where's those infantry? Oh, good god. Ah, oh, you missed. Oh, saboteurs. That's bad. This is some great action here. I'm enjoying this. Woo! More Shermans because, this again, this is like the, one of the only maps in the world that they're good on. Just kidding, they're good on several maps, but, like, they're very good on this map. Cavalry scouts, there they are. That's the... That's the bastards right there. Uh... Zippity-doo-dah, zippity-day. I zip and zip and zippity, a wonderful day. Let's just start the prepping process here. Nope, nope, that's exactly on target. Let's back up, because, obviously, bazooka fun. No! 
Robot, you're in my house. There is no off mapping in my house. Ah. I thought I moved it. I'm gonna give him the face. Yeah, you're not sneaking, you're not walking up to a Sherman for a bazooka shot. Let's just pour in the Gurks. Eh, <laughs> Gurks. Sounds like the jerks, but it's obviously not. Throw some TNT. Run like your little lives depend on it. Cause it does. God, these transports are just so freaking slow. All right, I gotta spread these out. This is bad. Oh my god! All right, when my well, maybe I'll just get another plane. I can do that too. I can do annoying bombing things as well. Are you quite done with the off map now? Clearly not. Oh no, that's a plane. I don't know why I thought that was like an off-map alarm. Oh, I wish there was an off-map alarm. That'd be sick. I want them to be in 100 meter range so they can use their Thompsons, but I also don't, so he can't use his uh, TNT, obviously. Let's just keep pouring in. Yes. Killing a 60 mil for free. Oh, he's making a ballsy move now. Yeah, you better run. All right, more already. More already. This is a little close to the road, I admit. As good as the long range AT is for this division, the close range AT is just horrible. <laughs> I wonder if that killed it. We will find out momentarily. Let's go here. And again, as we get closer to phase C here, technically, like, he's, he still has, like, a uh, income advantage at this point. Okay, it was a 203, so we're done with that, I think. Gurkha rifles are so cool. Oh, we actually got the pen and I didn't. Right, he's only got 90, right? Yeah, it's 90 and 90. Wow, okay. Yeah, no big deal, whatever, not bull. No bull there at all. Just calling another. It's not like I don't have enough. No, he's already moving it. So screw that. Let's hit this. Now we really... Do we go for it? 
Yeah, I think we do, because he'll also be distracted by this guy, so maybe the tank can kill it. Nice! Very nice. Yeah, you better run. Go, go! Oh, let's put one over here, see if we can grab this flag. Let's get some bofers for the inevitable bombing of this 17-pounder. Hit this. Ah, this is so annoying. What? Oh, oh, didn't even notice. Oopsies. It happens, you know. We'll just uh, call in another. And another. Another one. Another one. Alright, it's about time these guys both get on the same group command here so I can actually order them effectively. Let's re-aim these guys here. Back into the fire. Oh. Robot's going to force me to make a new rule that no one in my house can do a freaking off-map anymore. Go. Just go after him. I don't even care. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Yeah, get out of here. Eat my triple star 40 mil. Oh, perfect amount for another Sherman. It does get to a point where the, you just gotta call in Shermans all the time. Annoying, but not a huge deal. Not us again. Let's shift this guy over to here. Let's move this dude over to this position here. Okay, you gotta be kidding me. Ah! Oh. Ah! Oh. Come on, triple star Sherm. Oh my god, you gotta be kidding me. I'm being paid back for all the luck I had earlier. Good thing I have plenty of these guys to do this with. Yeah, he definitely will kill me. Oh, there we go. Hit this. I, I don't understand. I, I clearly see a line of sight from both of them seeing that. Fine. I'll do it the hard way. Just keep driving. Forget it. Let's get this. Let's go. Let's make a run. 
Probably gonna fail, but that's okay. I can then arty his AA. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Okay. Didn't expect that. Oh, they're 110. But they're 105. In you go! Oh, Moose Guards. Um, Maki Sard, sorry. The thing is, like, with all this ground he's grabbed, like, all this push, he's basically putting literally every single unit he has into it. I have units to spare to push over here. He really does not. Bro with the off map. What is it? Just another one that Sherman 76s or whatever? Alright, that's enough. Let's get two more of these. Oh my god, I totally clicked the wrong thing for this. Oh well, it actually worked out. <laughs> Alright, back out here. Let's put him on return fire because I really just need to see what's going on. Let's set up this Sherman here. Unfortunately, we're not fighting Jerry. 15-9. I mean, this game is basically locked up income-wise. Actually, let's just do it now. Are these guys out yet? Good enough. You two are group two. Now we can double our arty fun. Our arty fun in the sun. Going for that other 60 mil that's still there, I believe. Gurkhas. Let's start going this way. There we go. Let's go over here. Again, a little tight for comfort, but uh, I don't want that fight. I don't want that fight. I don't want. I don't want. I don't want. want. We need another hurricane then. The thing is, I don't even need to push him off this hill anymore. I got so much over here. It doesn't even matter. Okay, another hurricane. Let's go kill stuff. Fine, let's kill this first and then kill that. You must be like that. Well, it looks like we're finally done with the 203 off maps, I think. That would be lovely, wouldn't it? What? I thought I put you in a building. Well, that's awkward. Are you serious, Hurricane? Come on, bro. No, do not fly over the, like, 40 units. <sighs> Good God. I'm just gonna bank on him missing. He's not missing. Why is he not missing? <sighs> Didn't we do this last time? Go, Piot men. I'm depending on you, Piot man. You're suppressed and you have horrible accuracy. Oh, oh my god, he did it! Yay! Piot does it! Okay, now where were we? Back to the other fun. Yes. Go kill him. Boston, go blow him up. You know, just have him stand there, because I, I need to see this. Like, I don't care if he dies. There we go.
So his whole taking out my infantry going in is really starting to hurt a little bit. I really need to do something about it. Yeah, I've got to stop letting him just kill my infantry. Alright. Okay, glorious. Another Boston. Let's go kill this one. Alright, group two. Hit this, because it's got to be something there. There we go. Now stop it. Stop doing that. Alright, there we go. There it is. And he calls the GG. Alright, 8th Indian. I see you. I see you. And there it is. Okay. I liked it. I like the infantry are solid, especially Gurkha rifles are really, they eat things up. 3380 to 2310. 31 minutes. Okay. I'm happy to win long games. And that's not really that long. It's where a balanced game should be won. Um, kills here. The 75mm autocars are really solid. For 35 points, they're, they feel like BA-10s in terms of like how good they are, like how much they overperform. Um, so yeah, definitely... Definitely like that. Uh, let's see here. Sherman. Sherman's, and these are the better Shermans. These have higher armor than the like M4A1s. These have 100 millimeters of armor, which does make a difference, especially when you're fighting allied divisions. A lot of those T, like the T3476s and Shermans have 90 millimeters of penetration or 100. So the 100 millimeters of armor makes a pretty big difference for these. Uh, you get the so solid Bostons. They're really fast. So really good buy. Only medium resilience though. So be careful. They do die. Uh, they are not like immortal PE2s used to be. Um, having only 40 mils for AA is totally fine. You do have a Crusader AA, but that's not as good as the 40 mil. Um, 114 millimeter artillery. This stuff's really good. Um, it, it's very accurate. It, it's not even the like amount of damage it does or anything. It's just very accurate. And it is quite cheap for 80 points. You get an artillery piece that is several times better than the 70 point axis equivalent of like the 105s. So this is a very very good piece of artillery. You can see I did some relatively good. I actually paid it off now that I think about it because these are both 45 points right there. It's 90. Add in this other stuff and, you know, that paid itself off completely. Um, hurricane, and, and truly the hurricanes actually weirdly overperform. Uh, sometimes they totally fail, but other times they just kill stuff that they really have no business killing. Uh, so, yeah, I've seen these things kill jumbos and it would appear from the front. I could be wrong, but I was playing against Mr. Ghosty, and these things killed Jumbos, and it really shouldn't. We were both sitting there like, that seemed impossible. Uh, M15, he made a lot of use of that, and chopped down some infantry and stuff. Very nice. These bow fighters are ridiculous. Absolutely insane. Probably one of the... It's definitely the best AT rocket plane in the game. 203... Uh, I'm gonna have a, I have to have a talking with him about that. Ugh, all that off map. But yeah, I I like this division. It plays in a way I like it. Now, the lack of HE sucks. The, the support tab is really painful to work around. So I, I don't actually suggest this division for super open maps like this. I think it's much better at like medium range maps. Um, you know, maybe like Orsha East might be solid. Uh, even Orsha North should be pretty good. Because I mean, it does have that middle part in the middle, but that's not like... You, it's not like thus focused most of the time. Usually it's on the outside. You do have Gurkha rifles and you can spam field engineers and assault engineers and do a lot of CQC work. So, all right, yeah, I think the division's a nice, a, a very solid division. Definitely high B tier, maybe very low A tier. Uh, but yeah, overall, pretty fun. I liked it. If you guys enjoyed that, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and consider supporting over on Patreon. Thanks a bunch and have a fantastic day.